Hi everyone, I am Anshula Gupta and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel Laudable. Today, I have come up with a test on CPC based on my previous lectures so that you can revise and clear your doubts. I will take a pause after every question so that you can think of the answer. Now, starting with question number 1. Consider the following statements. A decree means and includes point first, formal expression of an adjudication, which so far as regards the court expressing it, conclusively determines the rights of the parties with regard to all or any of the matters in controversy in the suit. Point second, any adjudication from which an appeal lies as an appeal from an order. Point third, any order of dismissal of suit for default. Point four, rejection of claim. Which of the following statements given above are correct? Option A, first and second. Option B, second and third. Option C, first and fourth. And option D, all of these. Now, if you remember the definition of decree, which is given in section 2 clause 2 of civil procedure code, then you can very well solve this question. Now, as per the definition, point first, which says, decree is a formal expression of an adjudication, which so far as regards the court expressing it, conclusively determines the rights of the parties with regard to all or any of the matters in controversy, controversy in the suit. And it also says that it shall deem to include the rejection of a plaint. So here, point third, C is the correct answer. Now, next question is, a decree may be preliminary, final, partly preliminary and partly final, and option D, all of the above. Now, this is a very easy question and you can give me the an its answer in the comment box. Now, question number three. Which one of the following is not a decree under Civil Procedure Code 1908? Option A, rejection of a plaint for repayment of court fee. Option B, any order of dismissal for default. Option C, both A and B. And option D, none of these. So here, correct answer is any order of dismissal for default. Option B. It is specially given in the definition of decree under section 2 clause 2 that decree shall not include any adjudication from which an appeal lies as an appeal from an order and or an order of dismissal for default. So here option B, it says any order of dismissal for default. So it is not included within the definition of decree as given under section 2 clause 2 of civil procedure code. Now, question number 4. A decree becomes final when? Option A. It conclusively determines the rights of the parties. Option B. No appeal has been preferred against the decree. Option C. Both A and B. And option D. Neither A and B. So, here, if you remember from the lecture, a decree becomes final in two situations. First is, it con gives conclusion to the rights of the parties. That is, it conclusively determines the rights of the parties. And option B, that no appeal has been further preferred against that decree. So, here option C, both A and B is the correct answer. Now, next question. Which of the following is not an essential element of a decree? Option A. Conclusive determination of the rights of the parties. Option B, formal expression of an adjudication. Option C, an adjudication from which an appeal lies as an appeal from an order. And option D, the adjudication must have been given in a suit. So, you have to answer this question in the comments below. Now, question number 6. Decree holder means any person in whose favor a decree has been passed or an order capable of execution has been made. This definition of the term decree holder is mentioned under 
ऑप्शन ए सेक्शन टू क्लास टू ऑफ सी पी सी ऑप्शन बी सेक्शन टू क्लास थ्री ऑफ सी पी सी ऑप्शन सी सेक्शन टू क्लास फोर ऑफ सी पी सी एंड ऑप्शन डी सेक्शन टू क्लास फाइव ऑफ सी पी सी सो हेयर करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी सेक्शन टू क्लास थ्री ऑफ सी पी सी एज इट डिफाइन्स इट टर्म डिक्री होल्डर एंड इट रेफर्स टू एनी पर्सन इन हूज फेवर द डिक्री हैज बीन पास और एन ऑर्डर विच इज केपेबल ऑफ एग्जीक्यूशन हैज बीन पास यू कैन वेरी वेल रिमेंबर दिस सबसेक्शन बाय द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द टर्म डिक्री विच इज गिवेन इन द सेक्शन टू क्लास टू एंड सेक्शन टू क्लास थ्री डिफाइंस डिक्री होल्डर सो डिक्री इन टू क्लास टू एंड डिक्री होल्डर इन टू क्लास थ्री नाउ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज और आर नॉट अ डिक्री ऑप्शन ए एन ऑर्डर रिटर्निंग द प्लेन टू बी प्रेजेंटेड टू द प्रॉपर कोर्ट ऑप्शन बी एन ऑर्डर ऑफ डिसमिसल फॉर डिफॉल्ट एंड ऑप्शन सी रिजेक्शन ऑफ प्लेन एंड ऑप्शन डी बोथ ए एंड बी हेयर करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी इन द क्वेश्चन इट इज आस्ट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट अ डिग्री सो रिजेक्शन ऑफ द प्लेन is deemed to be a decree as per the definition given under section 2 clause 2 of the civil procedure code while option a says an order returning the plaint to be presented to the proper court is not a decree as that plaint will be presented in some other court and proper decree will come from there and option b an order of dismissal for default has been specifically written in the definition that it shall this an order for dismissal for default shall not include within the definition of decree so option d which says both a and b is the correct answer now question number 8 decree shall be deemed to include the rejection of plaint and determination of any question within section 144 of cpc option a wrong option b right option c it includes rejection of plaint but does not include the determination of any question within section 144 of cpc and option d it includes determination of any question within section 144 but shall not include the rejection of a plain so now as per the definition given in the section 2 clause 2 of civil procedure code decree shall be deemed to include the rejection of a plain and determination of any question within section 144 this section 144 is related to restitution so this statement is correct so here option b is the right answer now next question from which date civil procedure code 1908 became operative option a 1st january 1908 option b 1st april 1908 option c 31st december 1908 and option d First January nineteen hundred nine. So here, correct answer is option D. That Civil Procedure Code nineteen hundred eight became operative on first January nineteen hundred nine. Now, next and the last question. The sections in the Civil Procedure Code can be amended by option A, the Parliament; option B, a High Court; option C, the Court hearing the suit; and option D. the parties to the suit so here correct answer is parliament so the sections of the code of civil procedure can be amended by the parliament that is the legislature so here correct answer is option a now i have given you here two questions for practicing practice of detailed answers and i will repeat the questions and you can send your answers through email and i can get them checked from the experts question number 1 define decree and order and bring out the essential distinction between the two are the following orders decree support with reasons point first an order imposing suit point second an order rejecting a plaint and point third an order rejecting the plaint and second question is define and distinction between judgment and decree you can send your answers through email and the answers are as per the lectures already given by me in my previous videos thank you
I hope your concepts are more clear after listening to this video. Please stay at home and stay safe and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.